Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're going to talk a little bit about hay testing because adequate animal nutrition is essential for high rates of gain, ample milk production, efficient reproduction, and adequate profits. Hay and stored forages are an essential part of our winter feeding programs and although it might be difficult to think about winter feeding in the midst of summer, it's very important to do so now. Forage quality varies greatly among and within our forage crops and it's so important to make sure that we match the livestock species and the nutritional requirements to the forage quality to ensure that their nutritional needs are met. We all think we have good quality hay. However, it's hard to know without a forage test. And a test is only as good as the sample provided to the lab. So today, I wanna to go over some tips about taking a representative hay sample so that you can get the accurate test and make sure that your animal's nutrition is met. So first you must identify a single lot of hay. A hay lot can be a single cutting, a single field, and is generally less than 200 tons. So you wanna make sure that you get a sample from each lot of hay. It's best to sample hay as close to time of feeding or sale. However, sometimes it's hard to get that representative sample of hay after it's stacked in a barn for storage. It's usually not recommended to take the sample immediately after harvest because hay normally goes through a sweat, which is a process of further moisture loss. Hay also may heat up during this time and residual moisture driven out of the hay, but any hay test is better than none. So however you can get that hay tested and get that sent off is the best. Use a coring device to sample the hay. The sampler needs to allow for a probing depth of approximately 12 to 14 or 12 to 24 inches. Check with your local extension office to see if they have one available to check out. This, we have one available at the Warren County Extension Office, but I would call before you come to pick it up and make sure somebody else doesn't have it checked out. Then you need to take a random sample. You want to take a minimum of 20 core samples to get that representative sample of that lot. Your probe should be inserted at a 90 degree angle between the strings 12 to 18 inches deep. On a round bale, sample toward the middle of the bale and angle directly toward the center of the bale. Mix all your core samples in a clean bucket. Now, if you have square bales, you can still take tests with those. You want to take those from the end of the bale and go about 12 inches deep into that bale. Be sure to collect about half of a gallon size receivable bag or about a half a pound to send to the lab. Get all the air out of your bag and make sure that you do not allow it to be exposed to excess sun, like on the dash of your truck. You wanna get that sample sent promptly into the lab so you, that you can get your results back. To, before you send it to the lab though, you need to print out the forage sample analysis request form and attach it to each sample submitted for testing. So that is found available online, but if you have trouble finding that, you can contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help you get those. Send your hay sample to the Kentucky Department of Agriculture Forage Testing Program and each hay sample will be $10 check or money order made out to the Kentucky State Treasury. $10 is a great investment for your feeding program. Now, if you have any questions, need to find the form, the core, contact your local extension office. We're here to help. Once your test is completed, the results is emailed their email to you by the department and here's an example of the report that you'll receive. It'll have values for crude protein, total digestible nutrients, and relative feed value. And if you need help analyzing your results or maybe figuring out how to balance your ration, be sure to con contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Another benefit offered by the Kentucky Department of Agriculture is if you have Kentucky grown hay that is tested by the department and you would like to sell it, KDA will list it at no charge on the Forage Sales Directory website. This, this analysis can be sorted by any combination of county, relative feed value, bale size, or type of hay. Each listing describes the lot's type, cutting date, cutting number, bale size, weight, and other characteristics. So we highly recommend that you get your forage tested, and if you need help in any part of the process, be sure to contact your local extension office. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show, and we hope you have a great day.